everybody, welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Today, we return, and also, just in case, I, I, I realized my mistake when I said, Oh, herp derp why is it not letting me craft the thing? And then it's like, well, it's because my name's Star, and I forget to put fuel in, uh, in there. So now that that's crafted, we should be able to do what we wanted, which involved quite a bit of stone, and uh, I believe that thing is some gorgeous... Gorgeous cement. How much of this can we craft? About 204 of it. Very well. Let there be 204 of that and more of the small stones will be smelted down into there as well while we go. So it's going to be perfect in eight minutes. We'll have a ton of cement. But before that happens, we're still going to need to mix that up and stuff. So we do still have a little bit of time here. Two hours until nighttime. It's all of you guys are having absolutely a fan fantastic day. Today we... Sh what the hell type of zombie was that? where it had the dopest loot I've ever seen. <laughs> Hell yeah, we got some more sniper ammo. Honestly, you guys have no clue how important ammo is at this point. I am horrified that we're not gonna have the defenses properly for this horde. And if that means, if that's the case, that means that it's gonna become a really big shootout, which, you know, could be a little bit more action-packed. Maybe you guys are gonna love that, but, hmm. Nighttime will be coming here soon, so we do have to prepare for that. I would love to get those walls up and running to just kind of surround our base. What I could do is actually take some of the rebar frames, which I should have somewhere, and start placing those and hopefully preparing the concrete mix. While we're at it, I think all of our wood pretty much will go to traps this time around. And how many traps? Probably like a single layer of wood spikes all around. I don't... I don't know, because we have to encompass our entire base. We've never had to do anything this big, which is pretty freaking worrying, but I, I think we'll survive. Can't wait to go to the trader tomorrow, by the way, now that we've been leveling up some of our uh, some of our certain aspects. I could use a lot of our iron for building up the base. That might not be a shabby idea. Uh, speaking of things, though, I'm going to take this opportunity to start putting a whole ton of stuff away. We have a lot of ammo. I'm not super worried about that, but where the hell did I put my rebar frames? Because I definitely had more than this. Or I definitely had some. And now they're not here. Oh, did I take them with me in the bike? Honestly, I might have done that. I think I had a couple of things in the bike, including our brand spanking new turret that I would love to get fully operational and like put down somewhere. But still, I I, I love so much the fact that we bought a freaking auto turret. Look at that thing. I hope it looks cooler in real life. I might. I kind of want to put it down just to see what it's like and. Maybe I'll just put it like on the second floor, something like that, maybe fandangle with it a little bit, but we do have some of this. Now hopefully the zombies don't tear this down, but game plan is right around there, so we're going to start uh, building a giant surrounding wall. This wall will surround. <gasps> Plot twist, I know, but it's going to surround our base, I want to give us a little bit of breathing room here. I'll figure out a way to incorporate the rest of our mini bike, but it's gonna be pretty important for figuring out how much stuff we need to truly make a cement wall that's too high because I've never, oh really? You're gonna do that to my rebar frames? I've never had to, I don't know, I've never had to work with this and isn't there some sort of thing we have to do to set the cement to? There might be something with that. See, I've never really built with cement on my own. So in multiplayer, I think back when I was doing a season with Cage, uh, I think he I think he was doing the cement stuff for me. Damn it, no! All right, well, that's broken. We're about halfway around the world. I'd say 50 more rebar frames will be good to go. Hopefully, no zombies tear this down. That would really suck, because we've been working pretty hard for that. I mean, all we did was put down rebar frames, but still, you know what I mean. And we got some cement to fandangle with, so I want to see if, at the very least, we could start pouring some of this stuff and see just what it's going to be like. So here, we can make concrete mix. How much of it? 79 not too bad who knows it's gonna take like four minutes oh man it's gonna take a while and i don't know how much we need uh how, how's it work do we just pour it see i want to figure this out also i will turn on the flashlight it's probably starting to be dark my bad about that uh can i right click on this do i left click i i don't think i can do either of those things do i just use the wrench maybe i mean it wouldn't surprise me use the wrench for pretty much anything we just need more cement to do it okay well as we get some more cement I don't know if we're going to be able to, f worst case, I'll at least, uh, I'll, I'll try to like cap this off, so what I'll do is if we run out of stuff, I'll like leave maybe that this half of the base exposed, this half kind of as just like a bunch of extra stuff, we gotta tear that down by the way, but I'm thinking that might be the best course of action, I'll probably just cut it off here and then there'll be, be there'll be no rebar on like this side, I don't know, it all depends on how much concrete and cement mix we can make in time, now my turret, 
Boy, oh boy, do I like what I see out of you. Uh, how the hell can I turn you to make you awesome? I'm going to make this turret a balcony. This turret definitely deserves a balcony. Or can the turret only shoot straight ahead? I'm not entirely sure. Looks, no, he has that like cone of vision. You guys see that? Okay, you know what? I wonder, can I put the thing upside down? No, I can only turn it. God damn. Hmm. Well, I think there is a way. We could just put it, you know, let's just put this thing out of our window. I'm totally down with putting this thing down. <laughs> but yeah, okay, stop laughing at bad jokes. I'm totally down with putting this thing down and seeing how it does. We'll put it right here. Easy access, break some things, get some easy wood. Never mind that. I uh, might want to go work into the mines for this night. I don't know. I do want to also be a little bit set, but boom shakalaka. That'll be in the front, hopefully shooting any zombies that happen. Now, camera preview. Oh, it's got a camera. Well, that's cool. I can lock ammo into there, target strangers, target zombies, target self. Why the hell? <laughs> I mean, maybe if I want to make an extra hardcore parkour course, but I don't know about that. Uh, so, I'm looking at it. Camera preview's working, but I gotta power this component. So we gotta make a generator for that, and that's a perk that we have to unlock, right? Yeah, the generator bank used to generate power for your electrical components. And to make that, I'm just gonna take a bunch of stuff, but... Uh, I don't think we have the recipe for the generator bank. No, we do not. And if we don't have the perk points for it, eh, we have 12. It's only five points to hell with it. Why don't we start attempting a dive into Forge? If, if it fails, so be it. We have a dope compound bow and some guns. We'll survive the day 28 horde, unless this is the horde where all of the super hard zombies start coming, which I thought would be last horde, but no, I was the one that got bamboozled. I'm gonna just start carrying a ton of this stuff with us too, just to be safe. I'm gonna carry the cold cash, not cold cash, why did I say cold cash? The old cash with us, because we're gonna be cashing that in pretty soon. Ooh, see what I did there? Uh, eat this meat stew, we can't eat it yet? Damn, I cannot wait to eat that. That's gonna, that's gonna get us so much wellness. Might get us up to 120. We have not been up to 120 in a very, very long time, but uh, I'll just keep putting a couple of things away. I'll leave some things in here, especially the pistol, probably want that concrete mix i'll just put that back in the cement mixer from once you came let's recheck in on the forge see how that's going so today's going to be a good amount of base stuff i think that's pretty fair to say speaking of things to do let's put like 20 lumps of coal yeah let's put like 20 lumps of coal i like 20 lumps of coal i want to put more clay into this though do we need more stone than clay what how, how cement work is that no it's it's purely just stone okay um yeah i'll i'll, I'll take that I'll take that to the bank. I want to leave some of this stone just in case, but let's turn that on. Let's get some even more of that crafting. 128 more? Sure thing. Oh, that's going to take another three minutes. That's five minutes. That's eight minutes. Maybe I'll toss in, like, a couple more coal to keep things going. Do I get coal out of mining down here? I don't even remember. It's been a little bit since I mined down there. Uh, this thing gets us full of stamina. Eh. Anyways, back to the generator bank. The thing that we were talking about before a little bit of sidetracking happened. Generator? My generator. Where are you? Ooh, we could put down some of these hard metal doors in the front too, instead of some of those rebar frames. Sure, it'll attract the zombies to them, but still, hard metal doors are pretty durable. Four of them? If anything, it'll just like fill in some space. Ah, we, we might go with that. And reinforce it with some scrap iron? Definitely pretty reasonable. But let's start taking some of these components. I think we need the forged iron as well. We're starting to run a little bit low. But the generator bank is fully craftable, which means the generator bank will be crafted. Which means if this thing can make electricity, I don't care how big of a waste of 9mm ammo this minigun, th this turret is. Um, it's a turret. That is just freaking cool to me. And I would love to have this thing helping me out in my conquest. I actually want to get a good view of this, so how long is this going to take for the thing? Two minutes? Alright, two minutes on the workbench. I think the generator bank we just put gas into, and it starts making stuff, and that's not a good noise. That's not a good noise. I, there's a freaking horde right there. Freaking horde right there. Ooh! They noticed me. They noticed me. Alright, lads, it might be saving private. Get on the mini bike and run for our lives, because this is not looking good. There's a lot of these guys. Alright. Oh, hop on the mini bike. Start running. Start running. Flee. Oh, I've been. Oh, drop, 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 drop. All right. I don't want. I, I don't want to be nearby with that horde. I could try to take them out one by one. Maybe I'll try to round them up with the mini bike. But sweet mama, watching those things run past. I don't think I've ever just had a horde do that. Oh my god, it's already day 28. Jesus. No, no, no. That can't. No, no, no. I refuse to believe that. It's not day 28. It's day. 
five. That's right. It's day five. And it looks like... There's like a couple of them. There's like one dude left. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Also, I, li I like that that thing... Oh, I thought that thing's light was left on. That was like maybe going to help us a little bit. Mm. With the night vision, it's pretty easy to see the zombies. They're just like really dark. It's like they have no heat signature. Well, I mean, this isn't infrared. Although it kind of seems like it at times. Anyways, let's try and get a sneak attack on this guy. I want you to get the hell away from my base and, uh... Mm, get the hell back here. I got a nice little... Oh my god, stop juking me! Yes! Big hit. Oh, he's going down. Well, my friend, if you've gone down, that means you're gonna die down. Skater punk zombie. Think you're gonna walk into here, tell me how to live my life. Even though, I don't think you tried to say anything. Tell me how to live my life. Mm-mm. That's not happening. I'll stay on this flashlight. Oh, God, there's more. They're definitely on the south side. Hmm. Well. Another 17 seconds on that. Alright, well that thing's about to be good. I guess we'd take that opportunity to put some of this stuff back from whence it came. Those steel arrows. Let's just take them all. I think I know what we want to do with them. And... Mm, now that we're talking about arrows. Flaming arrows just take a little bit of gunpowder and tallow. Do we have a campfire here yet? I think we do. Do we have any fat? No. We could start harvesting it and try to get some flaming arrows. Might not be the worst idea in the world. It's not the best idea, but it's definitely not the worst. Alright. Shenanigans aside, it's only 1 a.m. We're gonna have to deal with these guys for a while. We got the generator bank! How in tarnation is this thing gonna work? <laughs> I sure as hell hope I can figure it out, but generator bank, where do you go, my friend? Uh, somewhere around here, probably. I might just put it like two blocks away does that seem reasonable maybe like i don't think any zombies gonna climb in through this window anyway so might as well make a little bit of room oh no don't not don't want to break the smell mixer nope not going through those shenanigans again seriously i think there was a smell mixer before that we could have done well people told me that you can pick them up i'm trying to like hold the e on this stuff you can't i don't think you can really pick up as many things as you used to be able to hello auto turret don't mind me just all right falling off I guess I'll get some wooden frames and work on it from there. What? How, how'd you break your leg? The cacti gods continue to shine upon us. This pleases me. This pleases me a lot. <laughs> Alright. Why don't we grab some of these frames and start doing what I was trying to do. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll just parkour from here. A little bit of more parkour. And... Tear down this entire wall. I think the second floor, hopefully with the iron doors, because zombies absolutely love doors for God knows why. I'm having a heat stroke right now, really? What the hell am I wearing that I started being a hot so often? Is it... Is I like... The... The... Is it the BDU bottoms? Really? Don't even tell me it's those. Don't you dare tell me that, Seven Days. For real. Like... Maybe just... It's it just been hot lately. I don't know. Shenanigans aside, hello, Auto Turret. I love you, but... I think I'm gonna try to put the generator bank here, because I'm not 100% sure how it works, so... Hopefully we can pick it up if we mess up, because I think we all know I'm going to mess up, probably. But hopefully we can pick it up if we mess up. Uh, switch on, off, open. Well, it's been put down, so I hope we're cool with that. We can put an engine into it, and then we got to give it fuel. From there, it turns on. And how... Is there, like, wire or something that we run with? Wire... Uh, oh, it's the wire tool. Yeah, see? Okay, okay. Starting to put two and two together. Hell yeah. Alright, where you- where, oh, forgot. Can't really get- get through there. Alright, let's just not break any legs. Awesome. No legs broken. Break a leg! Isn't that supposed to be like, good luck? Not when I'm playing. When you say break a leg, I'm like, never curse me like that again. Now back to this- to this. We should have a wire relay tool up in here somewhere. Let's organize that real quick. Uh, maybe not in this chest, maybe in the other one. Don't even tell me I left it behind. Don't, don't tell me that I did not. Oh, no, there it is. A really epic one, too. All right, so what we can do here is uh, I click right, and then I click right, and boom shakalaka! The turret's connected. Look at that. If any zombies come from that direction, they are dead meat. Ooh, hoo, hoo. yeah, I'm just going to get my pistol ammo to the goddamn shotgun. Let's be honest. That wire tool, though, that is really cool. And this is our first steps into electricity. The bank and the turret. Thought maybe it'd be a little bit bigger, but still, I didn't think the auto turret would be the first thing that we really do. Now, we are gonna need to find yet another engine in the morning, go out and do that, also try to build up this wall even a little bit. Because now that I think about it, I'm just really gonna hope that the zombies are coming from the- is, we're not. 
I don't think we're prepared for a wall this big. I don't think we are. We definitely don't have the resources nor the cement. So what I'm going to do is try to fortify the side that I'm going to try to lure them out to. Alright, because that's the thing. At the end of the day, they might come from a certain side, but they're still coming for me. And is she going to start running at me? I think so. Hello, lady. How you doing? Oh, big hit. Nope. Oh, she got a hit on me. Alright, well, I'm going to hit it on you. Damn it. Then we got to take antibiotics or something. Not antibiotics, sir. Still can't think of the word. Painkillers! That's the word. <laughs> My brain is not good. I apologize. But what I'm thinking we do here is yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Yeah, I don't even want to go that far. That seems like I I'll literally We'll, we'll use what already exists here. Hopefully, not too many things break down. Yeah, whatever. Worst case, we can eat, like even run on top of the wall if it's high enough and, and take things from there. But we're just going to have this go a little bit further. We're going to have enough rebar frames for this. Hopefully, we have enough cement for at least... Well, actually, we might be a bit low on the rebar part. Because I forgot we need a second layer of this. We just used up... Four, we used up... Well, the stack was 45 before. So... Yeah, I mean if we make room for like a two by two doorway here It's gonna be two by two don't care what you say cuz I have those and I want to save as many resources as possible uh, If it's gonna be a two by two eh, It might still be not too shabby when it comes down to it, but all right Why don't we see how the cements go and let's see if we can start building up this wall Let's see how this goes you my friends have cement for me. Thank you. Thank you. I Appreciate it a lot now over here. I can go into there. How much concrete mix can we make? Perfect. Almost the maximum amount of cement that we have. Let's mix it. And what are we short on? We're short on stone. So that ended up going pretty well in terms of stone to concrete ratio. We got 81 concrete mix. Let's get that wrench. Let's see how this goes. And also, we're going to go to the traders. That are, I think they open at 6. But also, we're going to go and try to loot some cars. Try to get that small engine. For now, though, will this work with the concrete? Oh! Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. That is some concrete. How powerful. 1,500. Uh, oh, how do we do reinforced concrete? Isn't that another thing we could do? Mmm. Mmm. I know reinforced concrete is a thing. Because it's happened before. Wet concrete block? What is this? Very flexible building material? What? What in tarnation? Hmm. No. No, I'm pretty sure... Remind me in the comments if this is still possible. I know we can make reinforced concrete, right? That, that, this is, there's reinforced stuff here, but not reinforced concrete. Hmm. Reinforced drawbridge, that's actually pretty cool. It's gonna take a, holy hell, it's gonna take a lot of materials. Can we make a drawbridge though? Just a giant spike pit under it? That'd be freaking cool, but we got the rebar frames. Uh, you know, what, what kind of frames are there? What kind of frames? I know there's wood, okay, sure, rebar, scrap. Mm. I really don't know how th I, I think there's a way I don't know I'll look into it as well but if you guys want to remind me go ahead for now we're gonna roll with what we have which is concrete and we are not gonna have enough to do this we're definitely <laughs> we're gonna be a little bit shorter than I thought we'd be but uh, maybe not actually there should be a lot more being crafted up here we only had 80 we just went to go craft like 240 more why would it be being crafted in there. 34 more? Hmm. To hell with it. See what it does, right? No no loss, no gain, or, or some something like in, inspirational like that. I I don't know. I don't know. Okay. What do we have here? Concrete mix? Good. Anything else? What was I trying? No, I came into here for something. Oh, it was to heal. Yeah, we probably want to take a couple of these. Hydration's gonna tank. That's alright. We'll drink some tea or something. It, our hydration's already zero. Let's let's take this opportunity. Eh. Actually, no, I don't think the effects stack, so I'm gonna drink one red tea, try to stay cool for the day, God knows some heat strokes gonna start hitting, and let's try to drink a couple bottled waters. As soon as these things are in our Thomas, there we go, drinks getting on my Tommy. Meat stew, am I hungry by chance? Not that hungry yet, unfortunately. Ooh, we could use the rocket launcher too, this horde. I, I, I think we'll end up using the rocket launcher, especially with how sketchy things are going so far and the fact that we don't really have a lot of defenses to blow up. Like, I'm, I'm pretty fine with something. Who knows? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. But in terms of things I'm not fine with, is mm, 
we'll at least be able to finish part of it, which I'll be proud of, and we could get some iron doors, which I might try to put down now to start doing this, because I want to start being proud of this goddamn base and start making it something really awesome. We're going to have two more doors. We'll probably do some with that uh, later on if we have some time here. I don't think they were in this chest, were they? They were in one of the chests, weren't they? Did I take them out? No? Dude, ugh. I know. You guys are probably like, star, face palm, it's somewhere in there, but for real, I'm not seeing it. Oh, wasn't it in the... I think it was in the mini bike now that I think about it. Yeah, I have too many chests. I gotta start organizing them for real. Not like just the auto-organize. That thing helps, but by no means. What the hell? Where are these doors? All right, well, for some reason, I can't find wherever the hell I put the doors, which is baffling to me, because where the hell could I have put the doors? There's not a lot of places to put those damn things, but apparently I found a new one. I'm innovating out here. Oh, no, there they are. Derp, let's, let's just, uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. Ooh, it's time to eat stew. Yay! Favorite time of the day! Let's put the glass jars away. Uh, let's scrap some of the cans. We still got some of that extra cement. We'll work with that in a little bit. We're about to sell the cash. Our wellness got up three levels from that. Hells to the yeah. We got the steel shovel. Alright, but let's go and put down these metal doors. I only need two of them. The rest of them can stay. Still wish we had the 44 Magnum. Ooh, now that I think about it, when we go on that trip to the traders, if there are any 44 Magnum parts, which there might be out of that stash, what parts do we need again to finally finish our baby? Uh, we got the parts and we got the frame. Alright, so that's two things. Well, I think with that, we gotta be pretty good to go. And uh, hopefully good enough to at least build something there with enough concrete. If not, to hell with it, it'll be a bit of a struggle bus, but... It, uh, could I have reversed that? Oh, that's gonna open a weird way. That's really gonna annoy me. Can I not pick it back up? To hell with it. I guess it'll be double doors like that. Alright. But this is starting to come along pretty nicely. Still have the really weird wooden frames like that are under construction. And I want to pick these wooden frames back. Don't have a need for those. Although I do want to get another good look at all of our electrical appliances. Generator. Other thing. Oh yeah, that's looking good. The turrets and the generator. The two things that will probably, maybe not save us, but who cares as long as we have fun along the way. That auto turret's gonna be like an extra person shooting with us. Although apparently it really eats through stuff from what the warnings on it say. It really munches through all the bullets. But we have like 130. We're in a struggle bus situation anyway. We just gotta find a small engine and we'll, we'll have the gas to fuel it. But yeah, we could actually start using the wrench right now. Ooh, zombie cowboy! I remember your guys' advice from this one. Apparently killing these guys. We could get some 44 magnums here. I like 44. That's a good 44 magnum part. That is a really good 44 magnum part. Hell yeah. All right, let's bust through this a little bit. We got the wrench. Hello, wrench. Goodbye, empty sedan. We're getting some gas out of this too. Oh, I forgot. Oh, and we got an engine. Although we could get up to six engines. Now, I, I, we only have one for now. We'll put that back in. But we could get up to six engines and put them into the, um, whatchamacallit, into the generator. So that's gonna be pretty cool. I do have my coins on me, right? Just, just, I, I didn't put those away. Checking my facts here. Did, are they like in here or something? Did I, did I, I, I didn't really bring the coins. Well, if there's anything worthwhile, so be it. If not, whatever, I'll just sell a ton of cash anyway. Starting to overheat, that's never fun. Whatever. This dude's probably gonna have a disappointing secret stash like always. Blade traps? Hmm. Maybe. SMG stock! Ooh. Ooh, 44. Ooh. We don't have a cylinder. Um. Okay. The, the loot started getting good. The loot definitely started getting good. <laughs> oh, yeah. It started getting good. Uh, we can even sell the engine, dude. The engine sells pretty nice. I'm gonna just sell everything that we got here. Try to make some of that profit. 266. I don't think a lot of this really is too valuable in this man's eyes, though. Like, yeah. He's not too interested there. He, he likes my ammo. I'm not giving him that much ammo. He, he doesn't really care about my sand. We'll come back and try to sell him maybe some of our old stuff. Because I'm trying to pick up that stock in the 44 Magnum it's cylinder. Oh, auger parts. Hold on. You to, to craft the auger. We don't need... We could craft... Ooh. 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 Auger parts are on the list. I'm coming back with money. I'm buying that. I'm, did I not cool down inside of there? Are you for reals in me right now? All right, well, I gotta hop on the mini bike. Is that a wandering? No, that's not a wandering horde, just one dude. All right, listen. Guys, I know there's an impending horde, 
But there's an auger on the line. And if there's an auger on the line, I'm trying to cash in on that while I still can. Because augers are freaking dope. All right, but back to whatever type of nonsense I was saying. I already forgot the nonsense, dude. It just it just blurs. It's all just 50 shades of freaking nonsense. But all right, we're back here. Oh, it's starting to set. Oh, never mind. Oh, this is good. This is good. Never mind. You guys probably already left comments calling me stupid. Oh, this is good. This is good. We're going to have a good base, especially if we get that auger. If we get the auger, we're going to have an amazing base. Now, why the hell are we so hot and what clothes can I put on to prevent this from happening? The only clothes I have make us hotter, which isn't good, but ooh, the cowboy hat. Uh, we, we have to wear that. I'll keep the mining helmet there just to remember and so I don't do anything stupid, but that has to stay. No way in hell that's going away. Uh, I can start putting some of these things away, whatever. What here can we sell for some money? What here sells that I'm really not going to care about too much? I still got to make the shotgun better too. There's just so many things we have to do. Now we got the extra anvil, AK. Ooh, AK sells for a little bit. That SMG, the rocket launcher. <sighs> 20 rockets. I might try to sell this hazmat thing now that I think about it. I've never... Ooh. Red shorts. If I'm still hot, I'll take these just in case as well. Still. Uh, that thing, definitely. I'm never going to use a hazmat thing in my life. Is I don't think anyone's buying blood bags. That's actually kind of... Dis maybe not disgusting, but definitely sketchy. What else do we have here to sell? we got to have a couple of good things. More rockets. Hold on. How many rockets do we have? Sweet mama. Yeah, I'm just going to sell like 11 of these. I think you guys understand, we have more than enough rockets. Try to sell some of these schematics too, make a little bit of moolah off of that. Uh, what else do you value highly? This is a crappy compound bow, please my friend, I will sell that to you. Hunt and rifle receiver, sure thing. Sure thing, anything else here that you're craving? I know this isn't how much they actually give me, but it is a rough estimate for how much, and right now a rough estimate is better than no estimate. So I will take that rocket launcher barrel. I, I, yeah, I'll take the rocket launcher barrel. I'm not improving that thing anytime soon, let's be honest. Um, other than that, mm, if he wants a flashlight, man, no one ever wants one, though. That's always the problem. I think this is pretty good in terms of stuff to sell. Industrial lights are cool. Uh, anyways, while we're at it, though, why don't we toss our small engine in there? Ooh la la, look at that. Toss our gas in there. Let's, let's refuel it. And you do not have enough fuel. Okay, there we go. Let's refuel it. We got it up to 248. Not too shabby. Max output, 82 watts. For how long? I don't know. That auto turret is ready to protect us, and I'm ready to protect the auto turret. I might make a little bit of an easy access, or eh, maybe I'll be out on the balcony. Ooh, maybe we'll expand the balcony a little bit so it's like an overhang. That way the zombies don't know where to go to kill me. Hmm. Now I'm thinking with portals. Okay. This might buff out. Might also be a disaster, don't get me wrong, but it might buff out. And I think the buff out potential is greater than the disaster potential. You guys agree with me? No? Well, as long as this thing doesn't collapse now, it's not going to collapse anytime soon. We could reinforce it. This will give us a pretty good view. Maybe we could hop on the the, the wall whenever we finish that. Still have some, oh, speaking of that, we should have some cement here that we're going to be able to use. Is it all mixed up? Ooh, yeah, baby. It's all mixed up. That's what I like to see. What do we have down here? Forge, what you got? Anything good? No. We could smelt it a little bit more. Um, yeah, yeah, keep smelting. Although I am running out of rocks. So maybe not. Who knows? At this point, I think we have all the concrete we're gonna get. All that matters now is hopefully reinforcing enough for it to matter. Ugh. It's gonna be cutting it close. We might have to pick up some rebar frames and make some blocks weaker than others. But for the time being, I mean, it's not shabby. I can say that for sure. How much are we left with? 54. 10 a pop. Some of this will have to be wood frames. Maybe scrap iron frames. Or flagstone. I don't know. We're gonna have a little bit of time to make those decisions in the next episode. For now, though, the base is being fortified. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, it is. We're gonna be able to survive so much better than before. Oh, speaking of that, where is the money, money, money? Where's the money? Give me the money, 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 money. I got left in one of these, right? Where else could I have wandered off to? Where did my money wander off to? Yo. Did I forget my money somewhere? Where the hell else would I put? I'm really bamboozled right now. Do you guys know where I forgot this stuff? Or am I just blind? No, not blind. It goes in that chest. 
It goes in that chest. It's not in either of these chests. Did I leave my money behind somewhere? Oh no, I forgot. I went bankrupt buying the turret. Well, that sucks for us. Uh, we might have to bring a couple more things to sell then. To hell with it. We're not going to be using a ton of these things. If anything with the rockets, uh, yeah, give me like 10 more of those. Sure thing. I'm going to sell a 20 stack. Rocket launcher. We only have one of those, right? I hope so. Pistol. That eh, doesn't sell for enough to be worth it. A lot of magnum ammo. I'm going to hope to cash in on that eventually. Enforcer magazine. I'll sell that. I'm going to sell anything. I wish I could sort it by valuability. That would actually be really helpful. Because right now, I seriously have no clue. Like, I mean, I guess I have a clue. But I think you guys know what I mean. Like, I'm not 100% sure what is going to be the best of each type of thing to sell. I'm not selling an AK receiver. Maybe the parts. Those are some poopy parts, but... What the hell? Why are the better parts is to help? Maybe lower durability. Whatever it is, though. A couple of these sell pretty well. Mm. It's got a better magnum frame. Oh, speaking of that, yeah, we gotta put that thing away. We got We picked up a couple of nifty things. Mining helmet stuff, we're not getting sold. Alright. Let's see the type of profit we could turn from this. And then from there, we'll assess the situation. I'd love to at least get that magnum. There's... there's ah! There's so many good things. I think as soon as this hoard's over, we're going treasure hunting. You guys know why? Because now that our secret stash is leveled up, these traders have stuff that I actually want. <gasps> Gasp! I know, right. I actually want some of these things. It's crazy. Jesus, you guys were not kidding when you said secret stash really brought up the quality and... I always thought, I'm like, nah, I'll just loot it. Uh, well, it seems like the secret stash is a solution to our looting problems. Now, it's gonna be a giant slap in the face if the shotgun blueprint spawns in there, but if anything... Eh, it won't be that bad. If anything, it'll still be worse off for me because I probably spent, quote unquote, spent more to uh, buy it when I sacrificed that like 1100 gold. My friend, I have some stuff to sell you. A 2000? We might still walk out of here with what I wanted to walk out with. I should have brought that second compound crossbow because we're making some fat stacks. Yeah, our barter level's leveling up. You're goddamn right it is. We're, yeah, we're gonna have enough money for sure to walk out of here with something. What exactly? Who knows? I don't care at this point. I care about making the money. And I am making the money. I think that's everything I care about. Unless you want some sandwiches, you know? Oh, rockets. I'll get $7,000 worth of rockets. This might be just enough money for us to walk out of here with everything I wanted. But let's prioritize. Auger parts, number one. Thank you. What else is there? I think we can actually craft the auger. Now, we do have to make the blade from scratch. That's okay. That'll just take some materials. Uh, what else was there? Unless I'm like mind blanking here. Good chance I am. Pistol parts. No, no, no. 44 magnum cylinder. I don't think we have a cylinder. I know we have the parts and the frame. I don't think we have a cylinder. Now we have a cylinder. SMG stock. Do we have an SMG stock at home? Yowzes, man. I don't... It's only an SMG. We already have a turret. To hell with it. I'll 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 save this money. If we find some more, so be it. If we don't, so be it. For now, I'm happy with that. Uh, all we gotta do now is find a small engine, craft some handlebars, and craft the last auger part, which is craftable. I think it's the. We picked up the auger part, so I think we have to craft the blade. It'll take some iron. We'll do that. Uh, if and when we survive this day 28 horde, we're going treasure hunting. We're gonna have an auger, which is gonna make upgrading our base so much easier. And so many awesome things are happening right now. I just, I, I love life, dude. Things started coming up Millhouse, and I have you guys so much to thank for, giving your awesome advice, making this series awesome. Thank you, a good melee What is Is this thing still better than, than, than that? Uh, what's this at, what's this at? 222, yeah, this thing's slightly better. We might be able to sell this thing for a little bit. No, no, no one wants my iron reinforced club, I suppose. I didn't sell the flashlight either. Ah, oh, shucks. But I'm gonna try to walk back, mm. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna set a quick marker for that. That's first first thing we're doing after this horde. We're heading there. We're getting the treasure. We're crafting an auger blade. It's gonna be an action-packed day. That's where the treasure is, by the way. But other than that, this is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Next episode will be our final preparations, and then the horde will strike. Will we be prepared? Who knows? But for now, I really like the way this is going. If you guys have any suggestions, any tips, any jazz like that, please let me know in the comment section down below. It is thanks to you guys in the comments being awesome, being positive, being helpful, that we have been able to make such an amazing and epic 7 Days to Die series. 
and I have you guys to thank for that. Thank you. If you, you know, if you guys, this is just in general right now. If you guys do, you know, participate in other videos, make those even better. I seriously appreciate it because I feel like I make the best videos when there's more of you guys around, when there's more comments being left, and when there's just more criticisms of me taking and just me making the best content for as many people as possible. And you guys really help me, you know, I feel like you guys really help me make my videos better, but that's just my opinion. It's the opinion of one star. But other than that, that's going to wrap up for me. I'm seriously wishing all of you guys nothing but the most fan fantastic day in the world. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.